go for it. Hey guys, Dave here. Matt's on the camera today. We're going to talk about getting the Comrex NX portable unit set up so that if you're doing a remote broadcast, maybe you're at the stadium, the pavilion, wherever you might be, you can connect back to the studio and do your live broadcast. So what you're going to notice first, we actually have six inputs on this device. Input one is on the left-hand side. Input two is on the right-hand side. And it goes from left to right down here. Input three, four, five, and six. And you'll notice the inputs on the mixer are actually for three, it's here. For four, it's here. For five, it's on the right side at the bottom. And for six, it's all the way on the right-hand side. So we have plenty of inputs over here, but make sure you know what channel you're actually plugging your headphones into. So let's get this device set up. There's a couple of things you need in order to connect back to the studio. First is power. Now, what's interesting about this power cable is we have this um, we've actually marked it. We've marked the up arrow over here and there's a very specific pin plug-in and you want to make sure that the arrow on this is actually towards the ground. I don't know why they couldn't have just designed it with the arrow up, but they couldn't. So we're going to turn it down and on the backhand side, you're going to see that there are like three serial input connectors. We're going to do the connector all the way on the left. All right. And again, make sure that the arrow is pointing down. So we're going to plug this in. Once we plug it in, you're going to notice the battery charging light goes on. That's a good thing. Then we're going to take our ethernet cable. We're going to plug our ethernet cable in and we are ready to turn this device on. To turn the device on, we are going to hit the power button. You're just going to hold the power button down for about three seconds until you see the light turn on or the screen turn on rather. And it's going to take about 30 seconds for the Comrex to boot up. As it's booting up, you can actually start plugging your XLR and headphone cables into the various outputs. So if you are broadcasting on location, say at Allegiant, and you're going to have play-by-play -play as well as color commentary, maybe an analyst, maybe somebody, somebody doing the pre-game and post-game show, you're probably going to need, need to utilize some of these inputs on the mixer. However, if you're just calling women's basketball or maybe you're at a baseball game and it's just the two of you, you may be using the unit where we don't have the mixer on here. It's just the head unit, in which case... Input one is on the left-hand side, input two is on the right-hand side. For argument right now, we're just gonna utilize input number one. We're gonna make sure that the pins for our XLR, this is going to our microphone, the pins are, face, are, are facing up. We're gonna plug this in. You're gonna notice it's gonna plug in nice and easily. If it doesn't plug in easily, you need to check the alignment of the pins. This quarter inch is for your headphones. You're gonna plug that into the port right next to your XLR cable. Once we have plugged it in, we're not connected to the studio yet. We still need to do that. But you'll notice if I'm talking even near the microphone, the VU meter at the top, that is my local source. That is my microphone. Everybody that's talking, you can have multiple inputs plugged in. So we can have, as I mentioned, six different headsets plugged into this, and we will all be talking. You're gonna be able to monitor Essentially, it's just like the fader on the control board. If I want to bring the fader up to make my signal louder, I'm going to turn this signal up. And you're going to notice if I'm talking too loud, the red LED light is indicating. This is indicating that I'm peaking over here. So when you're talking normally, you just want it to be flashing green. Even when you get really excited, you'll notice how it's turning yellow. That's like it's warning me right there. So you want to make sure that when you're talking normally, it's green. But when you get really excited, too, it stays green as well. That's your VU meter. You're able to hear yourself in the headphones looking at the local knob. So again, local is anybody on any of the microphones in the Comrex unit. The return is what we're hearing from the studio. So that's why you can have your local your, what's coming, what you're talking about, what you're hearing in your headphones uh, when you're speaking, you can jack that all the way up. But if you don't want to hear necessarily the underwriting announcements or any of the promos that are playing in between um, innings, for example, or when you're going from quarter one to quarter two, you can have this. You don't want to have it all the way down, but it doesn't need to be very loud. So this is, again, the return is what you're hearing from the studio. Local is anybody that's talking in the microphones over here. When you have all of the devices plugged in, or excuse me, all of the uh, headsets plugged in, the last thing we need to do is make sure that we can connect back to the studio. So, you'll notice we have a variety of options. 
Access 1 off campus, followed by Access 2 and Access 3, both with off campus, and then Access 1 on campus, followed by Access 2 and Access 3 for on campus. It will always be, if we're doing something for KUNV HD2, that we want to connect on KUNV, excuse me, on Access 1. That's our primary. If that doesn't work, the failover will be to connect on Access 2. If we're broadcasting on campus, we're going to utilize the on campus. Should make sense, but let's talk about a couple of situations that might not always be clear. If we are in the Cox Pavilion, the Thomas and Mac, that is still on campus, even though it's kind of like on the side of campus. But if we're broadcasting from Allegiant Stadium, or maybe we're doing a remote way the hell out, you know, somewhere in town, um, we're going to utilize the off-campus connection. So, because we are currently recording on campus, I'm just going to push my finger on Access 1 on campus. It's going to select it. Then all I need to do is push connect. We're going to notice all of a sudden right now it's saying connected. That's perfect. My VU meter at the top is going to continue moving as long as I'm talking. The VU meter at the bottom is actually what we're hearing in the studio. So if I were to put the headphones on right now, I'm going to hear the music coming out of the HD2 studio. What we want to do is we want to probably at that point text whoever the board op is, let them know, hey, we're connected on Access 1 or Access 2, whatever it might be, uh, but it should be Access 1. Uh, that's the primary. Let them know that you're here, you're connected at that point. If they haven't switched the profile in the studio to uh, the proper profile, you might not be hearing any music, that's okay. But once they switch it to that sports profile, you're going to be good to go. You're going to hear the programming coming down the line. That's actually what's going out over the air at that moment. And then you'll do a quick test, make sure that your level's all right. You'll be ready for the broadcast. When the broadcast is over, all you need to do, hit the disconnect button over here. You'll disconnect, and then you just turn the power off. That's it.